Hello everyone, Taff here. Um, just a quick video showing you what I've been up to. Uh, I haven't been on YouTube in a while. Uh, sorting job and everything and all this sort of stuff and computer gaming and all that rubbish that I can't really normally film. Um, I went full into 8th edition. Dark Imperium is out and I went full in with uh, the Primaris Marine. So, kick it off, we have... Come on, focus you. There we go, the Captain in Gravis armor. Um, I love this model. He is big, he is chunky, he's got the wrist mounted bolter, his cape is flowing and got little details as well. On the edge, he's got a little bone inside there, chains and a big ass sword and an iron halo and purity seals and He's awesome. I'm, the, uh, Dark Imperium is probably my favourite set by Games Workshop they've ever done. Apart from Betrayal of Kalth, because that allowed so many more people to get into Horus Heresy. It was unbelievable that my club was about four people, and then that doubled or even tripled, because everyone just went out and went, Ooh, Betrayal of Kalth, two sets please. And they did the same with Burning Prospero. So Dark Imperium is great for uh, people starting 8th edition. Uh, this is the Ancient, or as I keep calling him, Chapter Banner Bearer, but he really isn't. He's an Ancient, um, whatever that means. Apparently he's older. Nah, he's just, he's got the banner, isn't he? Okay, so, come on, focus on you, there we go. Um, he's got a lovely bolt rifle. Um, started painting that up, silver trim on these guys. I've gone for the Heresy, the Games Workshop Heresy, um... Iron hand scheme. So they've got well, they should have. Let's just adjust the light. Oh god, this is all out of focus. Oh dear. They should have silver, a uh, gold, um, gold bronze. Um, what shall we call it? Face plates and then bronze knee pads, and the rest is black with silver trim. So that's what I've done. There's the sergeant. A uh, lovely little weapon packs and everything on there. Um, the power plant on the back is much nicer, I think, than the Mark Seven. Uh, it's just a lovely thing, and then the you've got the ancient as well. I had really a lot of fun actually painting this banner. I normally hate banners. I've only painted about four of them in ten years because I hate doing them. But this one I loved. It's got a nice little space to put decal in. Decent amount of raised edges for me to do my for my painting style. Um, purity seals because we all know Space Marines love those. Yeah, I just generally love this set, really. Uh, let's find another standard marine. Uh, we'll go for him. Come on, are you going to focus? Kind of, aren't you? You're having a bit of a moment. Right. Um, they are... Come on. He doesn't like him. Maybe I'll like him. There we go. They are very imposing. Uh, if I get one of them side by side... I should come and prep this earlier, to a Death Watch Marine. Um, even the Death Watch Marine, who is slightly taller, so it's, it's taller than normal, it struggles a little bit with the Primaris Marines, especially if they're standing fully upright. The Primaris are a lot bigger, a lot chunkier than the standard uh, Marines, even in Mark 8 armour. And then you can compare that to the Gravis armor, which just looks ridiculously big and chunky, which is awesome. Um, so I've got uh, one, two, I've got four squads of the Intercessors, guy tactical marines. That's what I'm going to call them. Guys with bolt rifles. I have two squads of the. Hell blasters with the massive plasma rifles, which I really love. Uh, they just look awesome. Uh, I've even had a go at painting um, some flesh and a head, uh, just dry brushing. I think I've got a possible dwarven or talan flesh. Dry brushing that over black and the chaos black undercoat, and see what happens. And I'll probably give it a wash. But yeah, I've got two sets of the hell blasters. Two sets of the guys of jump packs. I haven't done those yet because I'm waiting on more bases to come along. Um, again, these Whitehall bases. Here we go. You can see it on the Gravis Armoured Captain. 
Whitehall bases um, on eBay. Um, they are amazing. I love them. Uh, all of my Space Marines have got them on. Um, I, all my Mechanicum had them as well when I painted up those. There's another thing that I've been working on. Which you're going to screw. Oh, it's not 40k. I don't care. It's heresy and it looks awesome. It's not even Iron Hands, but it still looks awesome. It's the uh, Iron Circle Marine. Marine? The Dom Dominatus pattern. With a massive bugger off shield. Um, twin. Is it twin mauler bolt cannon or is it just twin heavy bolter on the top? And then a big graviton hammer. Um, I've got two of these. I'll probably do an unboxing video of the other one. But uh, there you can see the Whitehall base again. Actually, if I put it down here, actually. There we go, look. All the cobbles um, on that. And then the raised flagstones, which is really nice. Uh, I've got my Death Watch, which I'm just painting up for my Inquisition Force that I'm probably going to do. Because I keep looking at the Sisters of Battle and thinking, if only they did some in plastic, I'd buy about 50 of them. Because who doesn't want angry women in space with massive guns? Uh, just me. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we'll gloss over that and ignore it. But yeah. Um, that is effectively what I've been up to, really. Um, it's been a bit of a hard slog, trying to get everything built and everything painted. But I've got some more stuff on the way soon, and uh, I'll show you that when it comes out. Uh, keep calm, game on. Happy board gaming, everyone.